Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to level nearly any frame in under 60 seconds. I want to briefly touch on stealth, the mechanics behind it, as well as a few other tips. Timestamps are in the description if you would like to skip to the build. Before we go any further, there are a few requirements you need to make this work. You must have the Helminth unlocked and have subsumed Banshee for the Silence ability. You must also acquire the Augment mod Savage Silence. You will be putting this ability on the frame you want to level and you will be replacing the first ability slot. These require Mastery Rank 8, Rank 3 Associate with the Entrati, the Rank of Genius with Cephalon Suda, or the rank of partner with parent sequence. You must also have 25k standing with either of those syndicates to purchase the mod. Of course, if you don't just spend the platinum to buy the augment. Let's start with some mechanics of stealth. There are three main states you want to deal with. They are unalerted, minor alerted, and alerted. In either the alerted or minor alerted state, you cannot stealth attack. We don't want that. Things that will alert the enemy. If you touch an enemy when stealthed, they will become minor alerted. There are weapon sounds. These include being invisible and hitting or attacking something near the enemy. This puts them into a minor alerted state. If you're using a noisy weapon, this can alert enemies up to 50 meters. If your weapon is silent, they will pause but not be alerted. There are mods that help reduce this, which you can use if you really want to, but I won't be. And companions can also be a problem. Enemy's line of sight expands when alerted. If you kill an enemy that spotted you, the other tiles will not be alerted. If you break line of sight with one of the enemies that spotted you and the alarms are going off, the other tiles will be in a minor alert state. This is because they can't locate the threat, but they know there is a threat. Just hack the terminal, the alarms will fall, and all the minor alerted enemies will be unalerted. Here are some extra tips and info about stealth. You can actually outrun the alerted enemies. If an enemy is alerted and you run through the tiles fast enough, enemies in the next tile won't be alerted. The game's spawning mechanics say that if you are too far away from spawned enemies, they will teleport closer to you. They, however, carry over status, such as being scanned or already taken damage. They don't stay alerted, though. These enemies will try to path to the extraction zone and act like they are alerted, but will be unalerted and can still be stealth killed. If you have a mod that gives you enemy radar, you can see the alert status of enemies based on their arrows. An empty arrow means they are unalerted. A smaller red arrow inside that arrow means they are minor alerted. When the arrow is fully red, it means they are fully alerted. An important note to know, cameras only alert the tile that they spot you in. An enemy from that tile must then sound the alarm to alert the rest of them. Quick note, corrupted and infested enemies are hive mind, so their version of stealth works a little bit differently. When one gets alerted, almost all of the other enemies get alerted in a very large radius. Though, new spawns can spawn in unalerted. However, for this tutorial, we're only dealing with Grenier. Now that we have covered some of the basics of stealth, let's talk about why stealth is so important and the bonus that you get from it. When you kill an unalerted enemy, you get a stealth multiplier. This stacks up to five times. Each stealth kill gets you a 100% increase in XP, capping at 500%, or 6 times the XP. An XP booster will stack and double all XP gained. This makes the method easier, especially if you make a few mistakes along the way. Alright, let's start with the frame that you want to level, as there is a set build you must follow for this to work efficiently. The first key mod you want is Primed Surefooted for the 100% chance to resist a knockdown. If you do not have this mod, there are a couple of paths you can take to achieve this effect. You can use Surefooted with 60%, Fortitude with 20%, or Power Drift with 30%. You can stack these in any way you want. The closer to 100% you get, the better the outcome. Alternatively, 
you can add the mod Handspring, which increases your knockdown recovery rate by 160%. Your second key mod is Savage Silence, the augment mod from the syndicates mentioned at the beginning. This is for Banshee's silence ability, and this allows you to perform standing finishers. Your third key mod would be Primed Continuity for the 55% duration. If you do not have this mod, you could use Continuity with 30%, Constitution with 28%, Augur Message with 24%, or Narrow Minded with 99%. You want to have the closest to 55% duration you can, but whatever you have available will work fine. My suggestion, if you have lower than 55, is to add a speed drift or natural talent to speed up casting speeds. The duration does not have to be exact for this to work. This is just the most efficient mod to take for capacity and the abilities duration in game. For your fourth key mod, you want overextended for the 90% ability range. If you do not have this mod, you can use Augur Reach with 30%, Stretch with 45%, or Cunning Drift with 15%. The way Silence works is based on range. The stagger effect that is given when hit by Silence has a set duration. If your range hits them before you can kill them, it is possible that they will be alerted when you make it to them. 90% assures a close distance at level 1. For this build, you don't need an aura mod, but if you prefer one, you can take whatever you want. My preference is for speed, so I take sprint boost. If you have extra slots or capacity available for mods, I would personally suggest some extra movement mods just to get you through quicker. Or bringing your power strength back up to 100% plus, as Savage Silence finisher damage is affected by strength and that can help you kill them a little easier, or make up for the slack in your weapon's build. Important note about Silence. Silence does not make your weapon silent. It makes it so the enemies affected by Silence cannot hear anything. So enemies not affected by Silence can still hear your weapon. Silence also provides a 2 second stun. The stun can be reapplied in the same cast of Silence if you go out of range and then back into range. This stun is what lets you deal finisher damage. If you do not kill all enemies while they are stunned, you have the potential to lose your affinity bonus. Now for the weapon build. You can use most AoE weapons like the new Tenet Envoy, the Augurus, or the Lens. I prefer to use the Kuva Brahma, so this build will have my Brahma stats in mind. The Kuva Brahma also has base blast damage and high crit stats. Mine has a 60% toxin roll. For your core mods, you want Firestorm or Primed Firestorm for the larger AoE. This makes it a lot easier to clear the room. For your second mod, you'll want Bane of Grenier or Primed Bane of Grenier for the extra damage since we are against Grenier. For your third mod, you can use Serration for the damage and if you want the extra speed boost, like I do, you can use the Amalgam version. For your fourth mod, I like to take Heavy Caliber for the extra damage. Now the rest of these mods are just suggestions and in my opinion are the best way to go about it. For my fifth mod, I am using Ammo Drum. You could also use any Ammo Maximum mod. This is to increase my max magazine size. For my sixth mod, I am using Vigilante Supplies. You could also use Arrow Mutation or Carrier Carrier Prime. This replenishes your ammo. For my 7th mod, I am using Primed Cryo Rounds, or Cryo Rounds. This is to add viral and increase my blast damage. For my 8th mod, I am using Point Strike for the added crit damage. For my 9th mod, I am using a Riven that has plus damage and plus crit chance. Mods 7, 8, and 9 are really what I would call your flex mods. They can be whatever you prefer for your own weapon, a good rule of thumb when you're making your own build is you want to clear the room in one hit if possible. So modding for as much damage as possible with the base Warframe build will go a long way. Now let's put it all together. I usually use the mission Telesto on Saturn for the smaller tile sets. Though if you're feeling it, you can go to Adaro on Sedna, higher level equals more XP. But for this video, I'll be on Telesto. 
When you start out, make sure you have enough energy for one or two casts of silence. The way this will work is when you jump into a tile, you will see some enemies. As long as those enemies in that tile can be alerted and they get hit by your silence, all you have to do is shoot in the middle of them. This should kill them all. If you didn't get all of them, shoot near the next group in the tile and you should still be stealth. If you don't kill all the enemies, don't forget you can still run to the next tile and keep going. A good way to think of this is one shot per room. However, don't be afraid to shoot more than once. Your stun lasts two seconds. You can tell if the enemies are stunned because they will be holding their heads. You can tell that enemies are affected by silence because they will be glowing in your energy color. The base range of silence at level 1 will be very close to you, so you'll have to get into your tiles fast or the set stun duration of silence will wear off. But don't worry, your run isn't over if you mess up. We still have all the basics we talked about at the start of the video. Block line of sight, make sure you kill the alerted ones, and you can always recast silence to clean up. As you go through the level, you will gain XP really fast. When you look at the results screen, your bonus XP, or we'll call it fake XP, by default is in orange. You receive this after the mission. Your personal or real XP that you have gained yourself, regardless if you fail, abandon, or die, you get to keep this XP. So as you level in the mission, you will gain real XP and your abilities will get better. Mainly your first ability, which increases range. This lets you be a little further away than before, and you're going to have to adjust for that. Some tips for going through the mission. Take note of your energy color of your frame. Having a bright color that's not used in game like bright yellow, gold, or white will outline the enemy and make it easier to see their animations. On the Brahma, you can alternate fire to detonate early. I also just like to shoot the floor. I feel it helps get the right positioning while being noticed less. There are mods and a sentinel that can turn you invisible. Invisibility just adds extra stealth and reduces the amount of mistakes you can make. Disclaimer. I believe everyone can do this, but skill really increases performance with this farm. The faster you are, the more precise you are, the greater the payout. Just because someone can do it in 60 seconds doesn't mean you can't still max rank your Warframe in 5 minutes. Take your time, make sure you keep that 500% stealth bonus, and you'll be fine. I hope you enjoyed what you watched, and hopefully this was easy to follow, or you've learned something you didn't know. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.